All right. <clears throat> Let's just take a minute to have a look at where things are at, like with the major players in that whole AR business. Um, kind of what what they've been working on in the past, and and what's the most recent developments. Uh, the date today is the 18th of October, 2017, and in the last month or so, there's been a decent amount of development from a whole bunch of different companies. So it'd be good to have a look at it. Let's just start with let's start with what uh, what Google's been up to. All right, so. They've been working on Project Tango, right? For the last few years. And that's that's basically, that's been a collaboration between them and a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of, a, a, few, a couple of hardware developers, mobile hardware developers. And and the idea there was to put some special sensors that can get, get really get a good sense of depth and spatial positioning inside a mobile device. And then, and then you have a really, well, it'd be you'd be able to get some really good tracking, you know, positional um, six degrees of freedom tracking of a of a mobile device, say in a room. And that's what they were working on the last few years. Uh, about a month ago, both Apple, both Google and Apple, uh, Apple has been doing some stuff recently as well. They both released. So let's say this is now, right? This is now, and what they both released, uh, Google's released the AR Core, and Apple has released the uh, the AR Kit. Okay, and currently, I believe this is iPhone six and up, iPhone. Six and up, you know, and, and up, whatever, and 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 that's and that's kind of where where our Apple's at. The same idea as Google. The major difference between these two, AR Core and AR Kit, and something like Tango, is that these are designed to work on any device. So so on, on any device. So on, yeah, iPhone six and up, or or with the AR Core currently, that's the Google Pixel and the Galaxy. S8, not the S8 Plus at this point in time, although that's very likely to change soon. Google, Google's idea is to see how many devices they can get it on. You know, Apple's idea is to see how many iPhones they can get it on. And um, that's going to, we, we're not sure exactly when that's going to be, but um, most likely a couple of months, something, you know, maybe, would be a guess. <laughs> And and yes, yeah, so then you you'll see AR Core coming to more devices, and so that, that that's going to be very interesting to, to watch to see exactly how many phones will just be able to um, just just have have AR on them, you know, without without anyone forking out any money on on new hardware. Uh, so so it's a very exciting time. This has just happened in the last last month. Yeah, the last month, AR Core, AR Kit coming out. Very, very cool, very cool time to be developing. Uh, and yeah, okay, so the, so I guess that's where we're at. We're gonna work on AR Core. Just I mean, just that's that's what I got. I got a I got a I got a Galaxy S8. And uh, for developing with the AR Core, there's a few different options at the moment. You can work with they they've got a they've got a web option um, with uh, 3JS. Uh, we, we, which, we, which you can can sort of look into. Um, there's also there's also the you know the uh, native Android development uh, system, <laughs> something which I've never actually used. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I won't be an authority on that one. But uh, there's, yeah, the game engines are some are things that I've found very intuitive to to get into. Um, and there's there's Unreal and and what we'll be working on is also is Unity and and Unity has in the last like five days released the uh, the the version Unity 2017.2. Should probably be writing this down. Actually, what I'll do is I'll draw a picture of 
of everything, all the little components that we're going to need, right? So let's say you've got your Android, looks like this. You know, you little dude. Okay, uh, he's going to need, oh, we're using the wrong pen. I know this is a bit difficult to see. Um, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Um, yeah, so anyway, that Android is going to need uh, the, uh, what's it called? AR call service, the AR call service, yeah. So we just need to download that. Uh, service. That's just a, that's just a little APK that, you know, you hit run on and it's going to, in the background, just install all the little bits that are needed to, to, uh, for, for the phone, for the phone to run, to run any, any AR core devices. Um, of course, if you've ever done any Android development before, there's a, another thing we're going to need to do is just enable some uh, developer options, you know, uh, also, you know, enable USB debugging. Uh, yeah, and one more thing, because we'll be working with Unity, we're also going to need a little app. We're not going to need it, but it'll make our life easier. It's called uh, Unity Remote. Okay, Unity Remote, that's, that's just for, um, how do you say, like, uh, seamless, seamless debugging. You don't need to build every time. You can actually sort of, in real time, sort of work between your PC or, or Mac or Linux. <laughs> and, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure you, yeah, you can get Unity on Linux. I'm not sure exactly how, how far that's coming along, but, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, Unity Remote would be very helpful. For the PC, there's a few little bits. I'm just going to pretend that, Pretend that the viewer has not actually done Android development before. So I'll just run through all the little bits we need for that. Uh, there's our PC. Kind of looks like this. And oh, this is a little box there. On button or something. Okay, and what we're going to need in this. Um, for any Android development, <coughs> for any Android development, uh, we're going to need that Android SDK. Uh, SDK. That's kind of you know that's what um, something that Google's something that Google's released to guess what uh, software development kit for Android. <laughs> kind of I guess all the little bits and pieces that that you know that you need for for Android. And and anyway that's um, Android is kind of built on Java, a lot of it is, so in order to do a lot of Android development we also need what's called the Java Development Kit, 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 kit. and that's called the JDK, alright, and now the most recent version of this is 9, currently that doesn't work in Unity uh, with, with AR Core. Uh, so if you have 9 installed, uh, what, what I found is I actually needed to uninstall it and install the most recent, or the, yeah, the, the newest version of uh, JDK 8. So JDK 8. Okay, um, of, of course we're going to need Unity. Uh, going to need Unity. Now... Unity and 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 one other thing we need to download is the a, a package a Unity package that Google's developed just an AR Core package which will have like a, a very easy to easy to implement AR Core Hello Hello AR I think they call it you know like just um just you know get 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 this little guy on the screen and you can start you know, start seeing what it looks like anyway so I'll just call that uh, AR Core package. Okay, now very important that we have Unity 2017.2. 2017.2. Okay, and yeah you can sort of get a bit of a sense uh, about, about how this is going to work. Unity is just going to need the no 
where Android and JDK is. So we'll show you how to, how to link all these little bits up together. You know, so we go inside the software, your Unity's gonna know where these two are, and then of course you're gonna USB plug in your your PC to your Android and send this this AR core, you know, hello, hello AR uh, app over there to your device and it'll be working before you know it. Um, yeah, alright, so let's get started.